Welcome to 12 mo Twin Motion 2023.2. Uh, so we're either going to use this icon or this icon to use uh, Twin Motion and to launch it. As you know, this software is really great for working in 3D and creating basic 3D mockups that can even be used uh, for games and or VR. It can also be exported to Unreal Engine. So let's start with uh, just launching this and we're going to do a basic tutorial teaching you how to navigate and some of the ins and outs of twin motion. So I would you must start with this uh, before you go to the next stage. And this uh, splash screen may change over time, but basically under the learning tab, you have access to these architecture rooms or lake house room. So I'm going to suggest that you use the materials room and click the download button. I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to open it. And I'm going to show you around and show you some of the basics. So one of the things that are really useful are these buttons. And it might be that this is closed. Uh, and or this I don't know if there's a way to close this one but uh, you definitely can click here and see the full screen so you don't want that right away and I do recommend that you leave the library on and over here you have all your uh, move tools to move so here you have W A S D Q to go up E to go down and your speed so let's see if I move forward how fast am I going that's not too bad if I click one on my keyboard, look how slow I'm moving. If I click six, it's this. look how fast I'm moving, okay? So now you don't want to do that too much. If ever you did that and you got lost, just press F and it'll zoom you to something. And then I'm going to zoom, I'm going to zoom back to the norm. So I'm going to press F. I'm going to press two or three. Three is probably the best speed, really. And now I'm a little bit out, so I'm going to go press four. I'm going to go back into this building. And now I'll show you there's a little bit of a hotkey. Uh, to If you can't remember under the I, you'll see under speed. And speed is over here. So here's the speed of a plane, a car, a bike, walk, uh, you know, handle it with your hand, and inspect speed, which is really slow, okay? So uh, scrolling with the mouse allows you to go back and forth, look around. And what I want to do now is I'm going to start by showing you some of the features. So this already comes with some neat materials. So in the library panel, I want you to go and change the wood paneling. So here you get to see what it actually looks like. Okay, so if I change, so I want to have this look. You can drop it in place and see. Now, one thing that I do really like too is this scale option. So whenever you drop something, there's kind of a details view that shows up over here and you see what it is that's selected. And what I want to do is you see these wood planks are way too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, well, I can make them look rougher and I can make them look metallic or dull. They were actually already pretty metallic. So you have all this, these options, but the one that I like the most is detail. Um, no, what's, what's it called again? Scale. So scale makes it a lot smaller. OK, so you can adju adjust this based on and, you know, you could rotate this if you wanted to. So it really allows you to really decorate and, and, and do some really neat stuff. OK, so um, under materials, there are like we could go grab some of these stones, put that on the wall, uh, maybe, you know, change all of these just so you can get a sense and play around with it. Emissive means that it'll glow in the dark. OK, so that's a lot of fun and um you know play around with a lot of these the normals is how rough it looks so if i look on this one uh doesn't seem to have one so let's just go and let's try something else some other material like a roof covering which i think that's what that is by the way and i can uh, i don't think i'd put an emissive on a roof covering but metal does it look it looks like stone instead roughness is is and if you want you can move in closer to see what it looks like so using the wasd key and let's see if i go less rough more rough you really see it when you go i'm up close so as you you decorate your your environment you want to definitely do that now w a s d and what i want to do is i'm going to go to an object over here and i'm going to transform this so I'm first going to delete what's on top, pressing the delete key on my keyboard. 
Now I could keep it, but I just want to show you that you can delete stuff. So here you have what are called your um, your widgets to transform to move. And I'm going to just rotate this using this tool. So the keys I want here, seven, eight, and nine. And let me double check if those are over here. I can't remember. Pedestrian mode, take a screenshot, fly, what time of the day it is. You can make it, you know, time at night or whatever you want. I like got night. I'm going to just leave it where it is, but I just want to show you. This is something the students often click on by accident. They'll go like this and then they'll wonder nothing works anymore. And again, if you're lost, you just press F brings you right up inside the room and i think you can't see so what you have to do is go back here and make sure that you're not in three in 2d mode but 3d mode so click over here and we're back to good so so i want to repeat it's uh, seven eight nine so this is the move tool so i could move this uh you know you just grab one of these arrows and move it you can move it up if i want if i press the eight this is the rotate tool so maybe I need to rotate this and you even see the angles. I'm going to control Z this. And the one that I use probably the most is the enlarge tool. If I just click this one, it'll enlarge it from here. If I click here, it'll enlarge it from there. I'm going to go control Z. But if I want to in increase it proportionally, I click in the middle. Okay. And now I'll click on the move tool and I'm going to try to put it on the ground. So just go slowly here, and if you see it go in, you just put it right above, okay? So that is really useful. Whoa, and I'm still pressed the F key, which brings me back to whatever I had selected. I'm going to press the 3 key so that I don't move so fast. Uh, and I want to just show you some of the other really neat things in, in motion. Give me a second here. Um, not sure what's happening here. Give me a sec. Click on him. Press the F key. All right. So it's probably just processing. It is a real-time engine. Usually it works perfectly. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this. All right. So. And I want to just show you, you could change it to, let's say you're really used to Unreal Editor. It works the exact same way, but I usually teach kids to use it in Twin Motion by default. And where do I get that back? Right down here. Okay. But really, you want as much space as you can. And what I want to do now is I want to show you, uh, let's go get some items. For example, I'm going to go and get, I don't know. Some of these things you need to download, okay? So if you see this, it means it's not really there yet, uh, but it'll download the computer. And so I tell students, like, pick wisely. Don't just download everything because then it's not, there's no point to do this. So if you click download, it'll download it. And the second you do that, you can drag it in and it'll add it to your level. And then you can use the same tools we just learned, WASD, uh, sorry getting mixed up with Unreal Engine here, but you could just drop it in here and place it using seven, eight, or nine, okay? So uh, drop a couple items in, practice that. Uh, I'm gonna now go, and I'm gonna show you decals because these are really powerful. And I'm gonna even show you how to change them. So I'm gonna get something artsy. So you can make it look like something on the ground is messy. But what I wanna do is put something on the wall like a poster, and I'll show you little trick or two so I'm gonna go scroll down here and let's just drop this on the wall here so one of the things is every time you put something in here it has all kinds of you can change the color you can change the roughness detail metallic same thing we already did you could even make it glow in the dark a little bit but too much of this is probably a bad thing you're better off leaving that off most of the time but I want to show you that you can actually, um, under details, just got to remember here, there's an area where you can actually change the settings. Now, I'll have to come back to this later. But so you can add decals. Um, what else? Well, primitives are shapes. 
So often students are going to want to build something that's not in their level. So what I like, a, I don't know, let's say like a walkway. So that one's 10 meters by 10 meters too big. I'm going to get uh, control Z. I'm going to create a walkway down here. And what it tends to do is place itself based on what you put it on. OK, so I'm going to want to do this. I'm going to rotate it a little bit and maybe I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is. Um, maybe put a couple more here. I'll have to I thought I could use the alt key, but it's not letting me. So I'd have to drop a couple more and make a little walkway. And I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here just but you could put more and once you have it down, obviously you need to change the material. So you go to materials, there's asphalt or something similar to that. Um marble. There you go. Maybe we could put a nice piece of marble on that. So you create a, a, a walkway. So whenever this is happening, just let it be. It's a rendering. And one thing I did forget to show you, which I'm going to go and do right now, is under preferences, we're going to lower the settings by one notch. So usually it's on ultra. So just click over here on high. And that way it'll be much uh, quicker, uh, basically, and much easier on the CPU. And here on stats, you can see how your computer is running. If ever it's too much, you can even drop it a, a notch lower. OK, so what I would tell you to do for students, um, play around a little bit here. Another thing, too, that you can do that's a lot of fun is change the lighting. So I'm going to find a spot. we got to wait for it to finish its, its thing here. It's being very finicky. Let me set up. Let's just see. You can even click it from there. If I go, give that a few seconds. But there you go. So, anyways, there's a lot that you can play around in Twin Motion. And what I want the students to usually do is we're going to access some of this stuff later. For now, don't do this in the tutorial vehicles and all that uh, really I'd rather you not touch any of that in the tutorial but when I show you how to do your basic level that's kind of where you're going to want to access it okay if you have any other questions please let me know